You are listening to Carousel Radio. Carousel Radio. You're listening to Carousel Radio. Broadcasting a creative voice of people with a learning disability. Carousel Radio. Carousel Radio. This is the second in a series of takeover shows where we invite learning disabled artists from diverse communities to take over an episode of Carousel Radio. This is an opportunity for people from underrepresented communities to get their voice heard on radio from all around the world. Hi, I'm Jason. Hi, I'm Claire. I'm Fran. Hi, I'm also Jason, not to be confused with the other Jason. Welcome to the show. In this episode, we welcome artists from Parable Dance. Parable Dance provides dance opportunities for people with learning disabilities and training for people wanting to teach inclusive dance, which is dance which involves everybody. You are listening to Carousel Radio. Carousel Radio. 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 Hey, what are you doing? Committing the crime and stealing the show. Carousel Radio Takeovers. I'm Megan. I'm 31. I'm passionate about dancing and teaching children with learning disabilities. I'm happy that I'm getting married in 2022. I'm also a European Championship Taekwondo gold medal winner. Hi, I'm Hannah. I love dancing and performing. I'm a hardworking person. I love supporting and helping people with disabilities. I like going for a run. My goal is to run from my house along the seaside. My name is Lauren. I'm 27 years old. I always loved dancing. I trained with Bridget Lovin, Anthony and Mackay. I now enjoy working with Purple Dance to help to teach others with learning abilities to dance. Also, I always love to ski, have won two gold medals at the World Winter Games in Austria. Hi, I'm Natasha Britton. I am one of the founders and artistic directors of Parable Dance. Parable Dance is a dance organisation that provides for people with disabilities a space for them to go and dance. Parable Dance is in Britain and we teach people to learn things. We get to teach people to learn more about inclusive dance and what inclusive dance is to make it a lot more accessible for people. Parable Dance has been running weekly workshops for people with learning difficulties. We also have one-off workshops where we go into the community for schools and colleges, day centres, to help them to dance. All of our classes are based in and around Brighton. Can you tell me about leading workshops? And what do you do? We teach the people how to to dance properly. It's really cool. I help to teach young disabled adults. Natasha gives us leading roles. I led a warm-up and a call-down at a recent workshop. I've always wanted to work with disabled children when I was asked to join Parable Dance, I was ecstatic. We have a piece of music coming up called Buzzing by Bubbaloo. Easy whiz, let's get busy, come on, get on down. Eeny, meeny, miny, mother, let's get off the bathroom. A bubble about. Oops, a daisy, oopsie, do. Call it everybody, keep moving. Get it to the groove. Keep on moving. Get bossing. Come on, get bossing. Get 
Played by Buzzin by Babalu. This episode has been taken over by Powerball Dance. How do you keep in shape and avoid eating the wrong sort of food? Triple stack beef burgers covered in lard and deep fried and then deep fried again? <laughs> <laughs> oh god. <laughs> well, it could be worse. Like all fried, like sausages, eggs, mushrooms. Bacon, have some beans, vegan special. Oh, yuck. So, so, so you get a gigantic marshmallow, which is about that thick, and then you shove it on a stick, and then you shove it in a flame, and then it melts, and then you get two chocolate digestives, and then you slap it together, and voila, sandwich. That sounds amazing. That sounds disgusting. <laughs> that sounds how, how that, that sounds epic. Don't eat rubbish food, like fast food, like McDonald's and things like that. Crisps and chocolate bars and biscuits and sweets. I get donuts. Cake. Donuts. Krispy Kreme donuts. Do exercises. Yeah, I go running, I do weights. I just mix it up. All four of them have all got amazing extra skills. So Lauren skiing, Joe swimming, Hannah's gymnastics. Yeah, gymnastics. And Megan's taekwondo. So they all have like other serious sports commitments. Learning to switch off when not dancing. Listening to music, watching TV, having a social life outside dancing. Go out with friends to the cinema. Why would you pick dance over other art forms such as music or film making? You can express yourself whatever emotion you are feeling. Do you have a favourite dance move or style? I've got my hand on my heart and wave my arms from left to right. Ballet, it strengthens your muscles and it helps with your techniques. What does it take to be a dancer? Dedication, hard work, knowing what direction you want to go in. A good understanding of what music you are dancing to and how you will choreograph it. For teaching, you have to be patient and kind. How long have you been a dancer? I've been dancing for 18 years. With Magpie Dance and now with Parable. I have been dancing for 11 years. And do you like it? Love it. I've wanted to learn to dance for quite a long time and... I was able, lucky enough, to have uh, Magpie Dance as my local organisation to go and dance with. Did you dance when you were a little girl? No. (laughs) Funny enough. How long have you been dancing for? For 13 years. And have you been dancing since you were a little girl? Yes. What dance class did you go to? Magpie Dance. When I first Mm. met Natasha, I train in different styles. I've got a sound here for you guys. This is Airplane Clips by Matthew Nudis. Thank you.
Radio Takeovers. This episode has been taken over by Parable Dance. Parable Dance provides dance opportunities for people with learning disabilities and training for people wanting to teach inclusive dance. Dance which includes everybody. Come and have a go. What form of dance would you like to learn next and why? Okay. Dancing, yeah, and it's very typical. A bit more exercise and more graining. Sorry, Joe, but I don't like street dancing. I don't like street dance either. It's not my favourite. I don't really see it as dancing. It's too. It's on the spot, and you just it's very body popping, and all of the flicks and tricks they do. It's just it's just not dancing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like dancing, it's a Chinese. Chinese dancing! <laughs> because it sounds so weird. Sorry. I would like to learn Irish dancing because the way they do all the kicks and flicks. I like to learn all of the Strictly stuff, what they do on the TV because it looks so much fun and I've always wanted to learn something like that. Yes, I want to learn, learn to do in the ballroom like Strictly. It's elegant and it's smooth. Why do you dance? I like meeting new people, learning new dance skills and being free to move the way I want to move. I like dancing with my friends. To show people with disabilities can dance and we can move and we can express ourselves. It makes me feel free and happy. Sometimes I get emotional. No. Oh. <laughs> no. <laughs> I've got a question for you guys. Have you ever thought about inventing your own dance style? Ooh. Good choice. Um, I mix my dance between contemporary and ballet and I mix it up and it comes out weird, but I just really like it. <laughs> no, but I would love to have um, have my own dance style that nobody else can't have because it's named after you. Ballroom and contemporary, uh, because I think they could work together well. I don't think I would ever try it either though. Maybe hey one day, when I'm brave. Yeah. I made up a dance with Mr. Goldberg in Newcastle. <laughs> you want me to explain that? Go on then. <laughs> Joe belongs to a group called Freestylers, yeah. which is what it sounds like. It's kind of a free expression thing. What's that, Mark? And they toured in oh. Newcastle uh, some weeks ago. Yeah. And Joe's contribution was that he made up 
a dance. A dance to Greta Thunberg, to, yeah. to what was it, to Queen of My Heart, wasn't it? A Queen of My Heart. <laughs> it was his, very much yeah. his own style and it was yeah. very beautiful. Yeah, make her cry. Drums, please! And now, here is a song called Boogie Train by B Express. Could everybody clap their hands? Here we go! Put your hands up Put your hands down Put your hands to side Boogie all around Now jump to the left And jump to the right Now boogie like a train On the Beat Express and I Was Bookie Train by Beat Express. I've just read something that um, Natasha is getting an award. Natasha, can you tell us about it for the radio show, please? Um, I can do, yeah, sure. I've just saw it on Facebook. Did you? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm getting the British Citizens Award, which is a medal. Um, I'm going up to Westminster Palace in London in March to collect. And it's for my contribution to the arts um, with all the different inclusive dance that I've been leading and the courses that I've written. Thank you. Thank you. Amazing opportunity. Really cool. Carousel Radio Takeovers. To find out more, look us up on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter or YouTube. Search for Parable Dance. Our website is Parable Dance. Parabledance.co.uk We have a song coming up called It's a Beautiful World by the Black Ballers. I hope you enjoyed listening to us. We would love to see you in one of our classes at Parable Dance. Hope you guys all enjoyed our show and hopefully got inspired by it all. I say thank you. Thank you and goodbye. Thank you, Pablo Dance, for coming. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you for having us, guys. Welcome. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
dance classes in Brighton, in partnership with Carousel and Southeast Dance. One class for children and one for adults. To find out about that, check out their website, which is powerabledance.co.uk. Powerable Dance delivers lots of training for other dancers and teachers. During the lockdowns, the Arts Council supported them to make a film featuring other inclusive dancers and companies from all around the UK giving advice to people starting out. After the film was launched, the Arts Council supported them again, this time to tour the film to universities around the country giving talks. As well as their weekly classes and training work, have all deliver workshops all over the South East and work on projects with lots of great organisations. One project they're doing at the moment is with Down Syndrome Press in Lancashire. For this project, they have been dancing on Zoom with dancers from Down Syndrome as well as dancers from Down for Dance who are based across 21 states of America. If you are interested in finding out more about Powerball Dance, you can check out their website www.powerballdance.co.uk They are also on Twitter, Instagram and Facebook. So please give them a follow to hear their news. Then could ask Jason how his sandwich went on Wednesday. Oh, it went delightful, actually. A um, bit too big. Uh, and I think I <laughs> bread, but it was actually really good. Uh, turkey club. Oh, I made it myself. So you start with a slice of bread, and then you put a slice of mayo, and then some mayo sauce, and then you put some cheese, and then you put ham, and then you put, uh, I think it's lettuce, then gherkins. <laughs> and then a slice, of, then a layer of mustard, then another slice of bread, and it gets. This is where it gets crazy, right? Because on top of that slice of bread, you put another layer of mayo, and then you put turkey and stuff in, and then you put tomatoes, another layer of cheese, and another layer of lettuce, some sauerkraut, another layer of mayo, and then start the last bit of bread on top. And bacon as well. Yes, I forgot the bacon. You put the bacon. Uh, on the last one. Yeah. And I'm fixing me a super shaggy sandwich, a double, triple decker sardine and marshmallow fudge sandwich. <laughs> Open the mouth between the gums. Look out, stomach! Here it comes. Groovy. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. It was, yeah, 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 yeah. I must admit, I had trouble trying to open my mouth wide enough to fit the thing in. <laughs> That's the end of the show, guys. Thanks for listening. Thanks to Powerball Dance. You guys were brilliant. I hope you guys enjoyed this show, and we'll catch you next time. Thank you for listening, and be sure to hear from us next month on Carousel Radio. This podcast is brought to you by Carousel, helping people with learning disabilities to reach their potential in the arts.